it was a good episode. It was a good episode. It was a good episode. Let's go! What's up, Geek Gang? This is Lane from Geek by Heart, here to talk about The Last of Us Episode 4. Let's go. All right, so we're going to talk about the good of Episode 4. Um, it was a good episode. It was a good episode. It was a good episode. <laughs> what the? F nah, listen, seriously. Um, it was a good episode because it would be even better if you didn't have Episodes 1, 2, 3 before it. And they were such outstanding episodes that's just like, this is good. Okay, there's really nothing that wrong with it, especially when you think about it from a video game adaptation thought process of like, yo, they're still taking the source material, they're being true to the source material, and then they're elevating it and giving us more that we didn't see from a game perspective. And that always was really great about it. So this episode did not disappoint through that lens. Even though we didn't see a lot of Sam and Henry, like actually we saw barely any, um, the episode did a good job of just giving them a backstory. Um, in the game, Sam and Henry are just people that you come across and y'all are all trying to get away from hunters. Here, in here, you have the fact that there is some story behind them. Like they betrayed Kathleen's brother and we wanna know why. What happened? How did this come about? And Kathleen is bent on fucking revenge, okay? And it, it whew, looked like she about to get it. You know what I'm saying? So that in and of itself did make me tense and did make me seem like, okay, I like what they're doing. I like that they're giving us more than what the game gave us. All right, but let's go to the bad. Because again, I'm gonna ask to say the word bad very relative because it's bad because it's nitpicking for me. So I will say that. Um, first, obviously, I did not like the way that they ended. I knew that we were gonna go see Henry and Sam, and it's just like, oh, so that's how you're gonna give us to us. You you basically leaving us on a cliff thing. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. All right, Kathleen played by Melanie Lansky. She doesn't feel menacing. I I'm sorry, she, she did not feel menacing um, to me. Um, I think first, her voice took me just straight out of the, the episode of feeling like, am I supposed to feel scared? Well, if Henry has a radio, maybe he found someone out there. Maybe he called these guys in. When I look at her or when I see her acting, am I supposed to feel tense? Okay. Um, I, I felt like it was a missed opportunity. I, I feel like she wasn't that menacing, but I am hoping that episode five will expand on her um, and make me feel like, okay, nope, maybe this just was a down episode for her or just even a down episode, not for the writing, because the writing I, I don't think was that you know bad or whatever. I just think that I'm not sure she's perfect for this role. You know what I mean? It, she felt very, oh, um, soccer mom, cosplaying as a villainous leader you know what i mean so i, I just mm. and especially now here the thing is also jeffrey pierce who was like the person that plays perry um he's actually the voice actor of tommy in the game and his look alone for me felt menacing i would buy him just if he looked at me strange i would buy him as this villainous leader and kathleen if she looks at me strange i would look at her like are you done? Are you trying to be intimidating? So I, I don't know. Like I'm hoping that episode five gives us more um, of Kathleen in a different light because, like I said, she she didn't she didn't do it for me. Not this time. I kind of said it before, but I want to underscore it. There's nothing special about this episode. Like it's not even considered to me a filler. It's just there. And I, I know that filler and they're supposed to be there, but I, I don't know, I feel like it is underneath what a filler episode is. It's just there. I know it's supposed to set up Henry and Sam. It did. I will give you that. Um, but beside that, it, it's just there. And I hope that episode five is not going to go on that kind of same downward spiral in a sense because again I feel that if episode one two and three weren't so strong I would be like okay this is a really good episode 
This is a really good adaptation. But because episode one, two, and three were so strong, both in conveying exactly what the game gave us and then conveying saying, okay, I'm going to take what the game gives you and then either spin it on his head or add so much backstory that wasn't there before. Like this episode was supposed to do that because first it's not in Pittsburgh, it's in Kansas city. That's one difference. Second, you don't have the characters of Kathleen and Perry. You do have the characters that when they are ambushed, okay, where you see where he's like, help, help, I need help or whatever. And they're ambushed. You do have that. That is straight from the game. And it was an okay sequence. It was a cool sequence. Um, but then that's it also. It, it felt very dry. It just felt like it's just there. And I really hope that episode five does not follow suit. I hope that it picks up both in action. I hope that it picks up both in meaning. Um, so here's to hoping that they got out of their system. Um, the not so great episode and that episode five is going to go and, and turn around and go soaring back up. All right. And that was my take on episode four, the good, bad, and the ugly of the last of us if you like what you see you know what to do comment subscribe let us know what you like let us know what you didn't like did you like episode four do you think it was a weak episode do you think it was a strong episode let me know in the comments below all right i am lady this is geek by heart check us out for episodes five reaction that is coming to you soon probably gonna be over here in somewhere and I will see you when I see you when I see you. Peace.